A major shift for the United Methodist Church. LGBTQ clergy will now be allowed to serve. KCCI's Kayla James talked to Iowa members who took part in overturning this decades long ban. Kayla. Stacey Benn, more than 600 delegates voted in favor of repealing the ban at the church's general conference. And Iowa's members make up part of that number. They say this change needed to happen. The affirmative has it and the motion is adopted. These are the words. The consent calendar A05 is approved. Leading to hugs full of gratitude, beaming smiles, and an overall sense of change. And I saw people who grew up in a church in which they did not feel fully welcome, finally feel welcome. The resident bishop of Iowa for the United Methodist Church, Kanita Bigham Sai, says this was a long time coming. The head of the Iowa delegation, Katie Dawson, agrees, saying the ban on ordaining LGBTQ plus clergy has been an issue since the 1980s. We had language in our book of discipline that said that um, someone who is um, a self-avowed practicing homosexual cannot be ordained. But that language is no more. Following Wednesday morning, 692 to 51 vote from delegates from across the world. So we have created space for people to, um, to be ordained who have a call. We've created space for our clergy who choose to do so to perform same-sex uh, ceremonies. Bishop Bigham Sai says she knows globally there are clergy members who may not agree. Last year, more than 140 United Methodist churches in Iowa left the denomination. They joined thousands of others in the U.S. who have left over the last few years due to a disagreement over the role of LGBTQ plus members. They have different you know, ideas of the expression of the church, but it does not make their ideas and who they are invalid in any way. As for what's to come. I realize that there has been trauma in this one action of the church does not heal that. So I'm in prayer. I am open to conversation and I hope that we're able to welcome people into conversation. The measure takes effect immediately following the end of the general conference, which is scheduled for Friday. Ben. Okay, Kayla, thank you.